you've got one minute before I come up there with a bucket of water. <laughs> Won't do where Max and the are, but I shouldn't think the girlfriend would be too impressed. Max! Get yourself mobile! It won't start without you, you know. I don't want to give them the chance. If someone didn't put a rocket on you, you'd never move. I'm late for school. <laughs> You're not dusting on the Copacabana now, you know. Dad. What? Calm down. We're only getting married. I have done this before, you know. I'll be two minutes. What is the point of being a bridesmaid if I can't even get in the bathroom? Oi, young lady, one of your jobs this morning is to make sure nobody moans, right? Well, you don't need a mirror. You're young and beautiful enough. I've had a very hard life, so it's my turn next. Well, you can both get lost, right? Bride's property. And anyway, there's millions of mirrors all over the house. Not that you can lock yourself in with. Belle, love, you're going to have to sit still, otherwise it's never going to go straight. I'm out. Oh, I'm next. Uh, where's my garter? It's the last time I spent money on you. Have you tried your leg? Oh, sorry, yeah. How far have you looked? You know, ladies, I hate to disturb this oasis of calm, but it was on the dressing table. Bad luck, it, losing your gut? Uh, no, not at this stage, but then it depends who with. It is, it's bad luck, it's enormous. Oh, Chastity, will you shut your gob? Chastity? What? Um, oh, here it is. Oh, give it here. Put it on your leg before you lose it again. Now, you want to put it to about um, there, shh. No further. What? Shh. And listen. Calm. Wonderful, isn't oh, it? you're barking, you. She's barking. Yeah, it's the last time you're there any today. All the more reason to enjoy it while it lasts. Who is shaving my eyelash curlers? That's it, I've had enough. I'm having a drink. Me too. Cheers. Mm. Everything to your satisfaction, Mrs King. Have you found my hat yet? The search is still ongoing. Do you mind if I'll give you a bit of advice regarding breakfast, you know? Thing is, you're getting your crispy things soggy and your soggy things hard. It's not good, you know. That'll be Terence. He hasn't been at it long, but he's keen. I'll speak to him. What you moaning about now? Well, you'd be pleased to hear she survived your cooking. She's still on course for her 90th. Just I haven't checked for other survivors yet. No one's stopping you doing the cooking. Uh, 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 Robert, <laughs> uh, excuse me. I hope you won't take this the wrong way, love, but, um, I'll, I'll be all right when I've had my pills. But you do realise your blankets are very dangerous, don't you? Dangerous blankets? They can kill. Wool, you see, love. Aggravates your asthma. Your blankets are all wool. You want something proper, like Winciet. We're still finding our feet, Mrs King. Why me? Because you are obviously in charge. Finding our feet. You couldn't find your backside with both hands. Sadie, it's me. Ring me as soon as you get this, will you? And don't do anything. Keep hold of the photographs and just let them get on with the wedding. Like, what good's it gonna do now, eh? I, I don't know. People get things out of their system, don't they? How do I know? But just ring me. This dress fitted me yesterday. How can I put on weight in my sleep? So, you found your garter, as in something blue. What about the rest? Well, old, these earrings, and new, pretty much everything else. What about my road? Uh, I thought I'd leave that till last minute. Oh, you could have told us. We could have organised some oh. Well, uh, what about this? Are they real diamonds? Mm. I can't wear that. I might lose it. Well, it's tradition, and then you'll have all four. I'll wear it if you don't. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Sid. That's really kind of you. Oh, oh. what's up with her? Yeah, we'll make sure you give it a back. Unless she forgets. She's probably got loads of them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take those. Right. OK, girls, the bouquets have arrived, and I'm going to take the buttonholes uh, down to Matthew's house for the boys. Well, you can guarantee they won't be able to pin them on straight. Yeah, what is it with blokes and flowers? Waste of beer money, love. Mm, they've probably got a point. Right. Well, good luck, everybody, and, uh Charity, see you at the church. Are we all fit? Well, two of us are. Taking a notice. Despite me kipping on my own couch while the rest of the family take their beds. Much appreciated, Matthew. You have a brandy, everybody else is. I could do with one. All the girls still up at Holgate. Apart from Amy putting up with us lot. Well, 
She survived you. We've got to be a bonus. What have you done with our cow? Seeing to Auntie Phyllis. If somebody needs to. Hey, steady on our kid. You're already married, remember? You're looking a bit tense, Jim. I'll do your roll-up, if you like. Hey, we'll have none of that. Bathroom's free. I think uh, Jimmy should go next. I'm ready. What to do with all the excitement getting to you, kidder? <sighs> so, will I do a what? Oh, you look fantastic. <sighs> and I hate you. Well, of course I do. I'm getting married, aren't I? Yeah, and if you can't look gorgeous today, go on then, give us a flash of your garter. Oh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, it'll be one of you two next. Yeah, no chance. That's right, kid. You stay single as long as you can. And then all you have to do is find yourself a millionaire. Isn't that right? Simple as. And if I can do it... Is everybody decent? Would it make any difference? Eh, hey, fine. <laughs> Let's have a look at y'all. Eh, hey, love. Wait a minute, where's Lisa? Eh? Huh? Zach, I thought she was with you. Yeah, look, she's, uh, She's at Granny Clegg's. Yeah, she's fell downstairs again. God knows what she were up to this time. <gasps> They were only late. I don't believe before. this. She's not right, the old bat. Don't she realise there's a wedding going on here? Yeah, Lisa's probably passing on your wishes for a speedy recovery at this very moment. She's not going to get to see you dress now. Yo, it's good you ever take a good photo then, isn't it? We're stuck with it, love. Eh? Families. What can you do, eh? Still. <laughs> we make a good looking bunch between us, us dingles, don't we? Eh? Hey, <laughs> are you taking that hat off? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we do scrub up well, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> Especially this one. <laughs> Get off the hair, please. You know what's that? You're looking a bit dapper there, you know. Yeah, well, if we're moving up in the world, I'd better get used to uh, looking the party. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> let's not forget, the day is all about me. <laughs> of course it is, love. But I, <laughs> I couldn't help but notice there must be at least 50 tonnes of scrap in Tom King's yard. That's her future husband you're on about, Robin. Not Robin, no, no. I'm, I'm forging family business links here. No. Let's just stick to weddings for today, yeah? Hmm? Hey. I'm going to walk over to the church and watch everybody arrive. Oh, hang on, I'll come with you. No, you wait for your dad. I'll be all right. Well, he's done a runner out the bathroom window. Should have thought of that a good while back. Not a very generous sentiment on your father's wedding day there, James. I'd say not to be too faced if it wasn't a physical impossibility for you. Hope we're in a happy mood, gentlemen. Your better half's here. Right, boys. Here are your buttonholes. Now, uh, put these on. Now, Dean is outside with the car, so uh, why don't you three go and join him for a few minutes so the groom can get a last-minute pep talk from his best man? It's another tradition. No, I just invented it. Come on, out you go. We'll be out in a few minutes. I hope you're not planning anything stupid. What? More stupid than this wedding? It's too late for your damn silly photographs. There could be something or nothing. Let it go, will you? He has a right to know. And whatever he decides after that, well, then that's up to him. As if he'd go ahead with it. Where are they? But not for long. Conscience won't allow it. You look fantastic. No. Oh. Do I get one of these? Yes, yes, yeah. You get one of the flowers and, uh... No, Tom... Sadie, put them away. Can you not see what you're doing? Why else would I do it? Tom, you also get these. Dad, uh, they're nothing. I, uh, hired a detective to follow Charity. <laughs> this is no time for messing about either of you. He took those on New Year's Day. New Year's Day? Well, we were at the hunt. It could be anything, Dad. Oh, you've seen him, have you? You knew all about this. Who else is in the know? All the village, apart from the happy bridegroom. We had to let you know. She's been lying to you all along, Tom. And with, without those, you would never have believed us. I should have seen it myself. If I hadn't been so busy convincing myself otherwise. I'm sorry, Dad. Truly, I am. So now we know, eh? What happens now? 
I take it Dean's brought that car for me. Happy now, are you? Delighted. Looking smooth, I'll give you that. Get in and drive. Well, what about Shut the... up, Dodger Toad. Dad, are you sure you're OK? Nerves. I'll catch you both up. Go on. Fog me off. You might get away with it, but I can read you like a book. Look, Jimmy said something about last chance to change your mind. A joke, obviously. You know, Tom's really sensitive about people getting on his back about the age thing. Does he know what he's letting himself in for? Or, you know, all that. He's nervous. He'll be fine. And you've done a great job calming him down. You said he needed to drive around for ten minutes, that's all. Uh, get his head round things. He's had months to do that. Something's been said and I want to know what it is. Aren't you supposed to be at the church, welcoming people? If you two aren't there in ten minutes, I'm coming back. What the hell are we supposed to do now? All we can do, go to the church and wait for the groom to arrive. Which isn't gonna happen! No. But we don't know that, do we? Which way now? Straight ahead for all I care. Just drive. We're due at the church in five minutes, just so you know. Just let me worry about that. I owe you an apology, son. I should realise by now who's loyal and who's not. At my age. It looks like a hat, only uh, special. <laughs> With it being a wedding. Well, what I meant is, could you give us some idea as, as to say the colour, number of feathers, etc.? Yeah, cos we're tripping over lost wedding hats around here, aren't we, Bob? Are you sure that it isn't in your room? I don't ever remember being this forgetful. I, I could have sworn... Oh, look, I'll uh, go and look for it, Mrs King. I've looked. What if I get earache from my head being cold? You never know where that can lead to. Brain damage. Oh, now then. It's a good job uh, I didn't sit on this. Uh, you left it in the car. <laughs> All right? Could this be the very accessory that I've been searching the whole place for for the last 45 minutes? You see, I Carl had no trouble finding it, did you, love? He's a good lad, I Carl. A fool to himself at times. Now, you haven't been giving these lads a hard time, have you, Auntie Phyllis? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no, no. Bob's got everything under control, haven't you, Bob? Now, come on, get your hat on. You're going to have us late. Not two minutes as I were changing your nappies. Now, we don't need to go into that now, do we? <laughs> I always said you got to be a good lad. I'm known for me and since me, and I'm never wrong. Tell him. Do you have to go already? Well, I don't think much of their suits. And who told her that looks good? Well, that looks coming back in again, apparently. How does it feel knowing you've wrecked the whole thing? Mm. All this effort for nothing. Everyone else's, I mean. I'll tell you one thing. There's no way I'm making a speech sending everyone home. Oh, it's best man's duty, darling. Go on. Smile at your relatives. Look at the state of her. I've no cloth in my knickers and she's got in that dress. Hey! Put your eyeballs back in you. You're supposed to be agreeing with me. Dog rough love? What can I say? <laughs> and you do not wear white to a wedding unless you're the bride. Talk about slapper. What do you think? <laughs> can I, uh, escort you to see them? Um, I'll manage, thanks. Are you not cold? Well, you can always warm me up. <laughs> Charity's due any minute. No sign of me dad. No, not yet. She can always do another circuit, you know, make the most of it. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> oh. hey, so, you've not forgotten anything, have you? Oh, a bit too late worrying now, Uncle Zach. Hey, 
Does he know how lucky he is, this Tom King? Then or what? Well, he'd better. <laughs> Come here, your tie's on sideways. Do you know me to drop the driver a tenner and we can all go off to Scarborough for the night out, eh? No chance. Not for a tenner, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you do look smashing, love. <laughs> You've already said that, but, hey, you can say it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't mean your outfit and all that. I mean in yourself. You know, you, you look happy. And I'm happy for you. <laughs> you know, there's nobody I'd rather give me away than you. Hey, here's a kiss. Mm. <laughs> oh, my lipstick, watch out. Right, got to get back to the pub. Okay, see ya. Oh, hi, Bell. Auntie Phyllis, mm -hmm. this is Chloe who I was telling you about. Oh. Have you no card, you love? Carl's told me all about you. <laughs> Not much of mystery left with you, though, is there, love? Oh, oh, don't get me wrong. You, know, you don't look nice. I've had barbs in more than that. Uh, uh, we better get a move on. Me dad's running a bit late. Yes, you uh, may want to do another circuit. He's been held up, apparently. That needs already in Scarborough. Maybe so. Well, look, give it a few more minutes and I'll get Jimmy to call Dean on his mobile, hmm? I don't need any bad omens. What on earth could go wrong at this stage? Go on. Five minutes. We know plenty of songs if anyone's worried about filling the time. <laughs> Take him in, he's gonna freeze out here. Yeah, at least he's wrapped up. It's just that I'm worried about. Oh, come on, what's happening? I'm gonna tell him it's all off. I'll ring Charity before she gets back. Oh, finally found a spine, have you? Well, somebody's gotta do something. It's enough of a disaster as it is. I'll just tell him he's not well, that's all. Why don't you just tell everybody he's come to his senses? Do you want to do it? Oh, come on, let's get it over with, and I will hold your hand and look suitably distressed if it makes you feel any better. Tom. God, no. Hellfire, what's he doing now? Park up, I'll see you inside. All the best, eh? But, Tom, listen, you don't have to do anything. We can handle this. Shouldn't you two be at a wedding? For a minute, huh? I didn't want you starting without me, did I? Charity's car will be here in a minute. You must be ready for her then, eh? I'm sorry, Ashley. You'd expect me to play past stage right at my age, wouldn't you? I'm sure Charity can afford five minutes out of what she's got to look forward to. Everybody ready then? You can stop worrying then. Yeah, because everything's going to be so wonderful from now on, isn't it? Right. Was that with Dad's face when he got in the car? Do you remember when he set fire to that scooter you bought because he told you you couldn't have one? <laughs> like I'd forget. When was the last time I saw him looking like that? You sure everything's all right? You look pale, son. Relax. When have you ever known me walk away from anything? Come on, hurry up. We'd have bought a flask if we'd have known. Hey. <laughs> And just be careful of the bottom of your dress, lady. All right, all right, just give him a little... Uh... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready, then, ladies? Are they ready for us? <laughs> Last chance to do a runner. Hey, when have I ever done a runner from anywhere? Especially not here, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'd uh, just like to say... Zach, that... we're freezing out here. Yeah, I'd, I'd just like to say that I'm proud of you, all of you, <laughs> for the way you look. <laughs> And for who you are. Yeah? <laughs> That's me done then. Yeah, but only till the reception, I'm afraid. Yes, and you have every right to be afraid. Right then, girlies, let's make them have it. Yeah. Zach Vale. Vale. No, Vale. Oh, Vale. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. Put it right down, put it right down. You ready? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Come on then. Woo! <laughs>
You take care of her. All right. I intend to. You look stunning. In a good way, I hope. <laughs> I'll give her a due. She can look the part when she wants. Not like that half-faced tart in front. I hope you've not got an outfit like that. One day, Father. One day. Well, I'm sure you'll all agree that these ladies were well worth the wait. So, thank you all for joining us here today on this wonderful occasion. The marriage of our friends, Charity and Tom. If you'd all like to sit. Ready? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Charity and Tom are now to enter this way of life. They will each give their consent to the other and make solemn vows. And in token of this... I didn't realise you cared so much. ...they will each give and receive a ring. We pray with them that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen them. You can't be a good wedding. That they may fulfil right God's it. purposes for the whole of their earthly life together. First, I'm required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. I wouldn't mind saying some of myself, if that's all right. <laughs> What's up, love? It seems that just as Charity's been led down the aisle, I've been led up the garden path. Somebody said something. I've been looking forward to this day more than any I can remember. I mean that. Tom, this is a sacred this won't ceremony. Long. What has happened? They say the groom's always the last to know. Well, now I know, Charity. I know now what's been going on. No, Tom, I'm sorry, darling. I don't know what you're on about. Hang on. No, you wait, Zach. All the time that Charity's been smiling in my face, she's been seeing somebody else behind my back. Somebody you all know. Who told you that? I've got the photos here to prove it. Key? No. No, darling, this isn't right. This, is... this must be a setup. It's not right. Kane and Charity, eh? I was about to sign the rest of my life away to a scheming, conniving little tart who thought she could take me for a mug. You mustn't do this. No, Tom, this is wrong. You're wrong. I have never lied to you. You're doing it now, you devious bitch. Hang on, you're well out of order here, Paul. Just look at the pictures, man. No, this is wrong. This is... it's a setup. It's a mistake. Please, Tom, please don't do this. All right, that's enough. This is a disgrace. Do you not realise where you are? No one puts one over on me like that. No one. Tom, wait! Where do you think you're hey. going? Tom, oh, please! Go, go, go! Dean, get the car! Tom, wait a minute! Tom! Please, it's a mistake! Please, it's a mistake! I swear, I don't deserve this! Look, I don't know what is going on! Kane, he just grabbed hold of me! I don't know what is going on! I bet there's no pictures of me trying to slap him away, is there? Get back to your low-life family where you belong. I should have seen through you from the beginning. What do I have to say to convince you? It's all lies! I've never in my life paid for a whore till I met you. You don't mean that. Tom, please, don't leave me now! No! Tom, please, you have the leg for it! Oh. You jumped up little crane! It's easy! Oh, come on, let go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I love you with that in a minute, love! Oh! oh. Scum, you dingles, a liar! Oh, yeah! Come on, mate! Right, pack it in! Put me aside, boy! What are you smirking at? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself! Just get away from that church! What have I done? What the hell have I just done? No more than she deserved. Oh, come on, sit down. Your wife's a sheet. Look at you. Tom, it's all lies. I swear. Oh, well, she would say that, wouldn't she? Leave us alone. You've done enough as it is. Get in the car, Dean. I thought I was in love with you. Pathetic, eh? Why now, like this? 
Tom, please, come on, we love each other, please. Oh, you try my kid. It's over. Now we both know what it feels like to be humiliated in public, I don't we? I just told you it's a lie! You think you can ruin my life? I tell you, I'll take you down with me. Get back to Cain and your sordid little life. Tom, please, don't go, no! Tom, wait a minute! No, look, don't you dare let them see that they have hurt you, all right? Charity, I mean it! You're better than them, just let him go! What am I gonna do now, though, eh? Get it off! Peace and quiet. I wonder how they're getting on at the wedding. Bet they're as lately. Well, whose fault's that? Well, yours mainly, but I'm bound to say that, aren't I? You're the one who won't be told how to do anything. I come from a lifetime of dealing with the public. Whereas you, you've had your ear bent by Chris Tate for years. Now, who's best equipped when it comes to a bit of the old charm offensive, eh? Moi. In fact, charm offensive. Don't start, Bob. It's bad enough you trying to tell me how to fly an egg. <sighs> it's an art form. Ask Delia. You don't, you don't break him and slap him in fat, you know. Anyway. We shouldn't spoil a joyous day with petty rowing. Did you make me one of them? Get lost, mate, your own. I think I am. Well, I suggest we all make the best of a bad job and uh, go to the pub. Let them sort it out for themselves. I don't think I've ever been so disgusted for anyone to treat a marriage service with such absolute contempt and then for it to degenerate into a brawl. Hey! A shame would have changed someone in there if he had to put up with that. All right, hey, hey, just leave it. Let's just get in the cars and get away. I can't believe he planned something like that. Don't assume he did. No, but somebody did, eh? Oi. Come on. There's only going to be one more bother if we hang around here. He did right to his pal. Look, come on, you. You'll end up going home in that. Oh, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go find Tom. Look, what about these fours, though, eh? Well, everyone just leave her alone. Oh, you're better off shot of anyone who could pull a stunt like that, if you ask me. Yeah, well, no one is asking you. That I... was supposed to be my wedding! Yeah, do you want to follow me, Look, <laughs> can we all just hang on a minute now? Tom King <laughs> has got photos of you and our cane wrapped round each other like tree monkeys up a stick. Now, what is going on there? He set me up, Sam. You're getting back together. Can nobody hear what I'm saying? Well, just leave it for now, eh, don't I you? I have been stitched up. Right, I don't know how, I don't know anything. So why don't you all just leave me alone? I'm going home. Up there? Oh, I thought that's where I lived. Unless anybody else has got a better idea. Yeah, why don't you come home with us, love? I can't, Zach. I can't leave it like this. I'll go. You look after Noah. Oh. Well, Cheers. Looks like the pub's a favourite. I'm not exactly celebrating, are we? <laughs> Speak for yourself, son. I've come to a brawl without breaking out. Has he said anything? No. Nope. You're welcome to have a try. Clear off and leave me alone. All of you. I mean it. Dad, let's just talk about it, all right? I mean, we can sort it out between us. I'll not say it again. Look, Tom, you mustn't beat yourself up. This isn't your fault. I'm not sure who I detest most at the moment. Charity or myself. Now leave me alone. So where did these photos come from then? Yeah, let's get that one out in the open first off, shall we? How's it got to this, eh? Why did nobody say anything sooner? What I can't weigh up is if he's hired someone to follow you around. But why would he do that, Chas? I've done nothing. Well, that's what I mean. He's hardly going to sign Kane up to jump on you out of the blue. Do you believe me? I'm just trying to figure it out the same as you. Yes. Yes, I do believe you. I mean, Kane hasn't got the brains to novel your wedding on his own. Not like that, anyway. There is only one way Kane would get involved, and that's money. Or sex. What up to you back there, anyhow? You, hang on, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Apologise for being the one dingle male willing to explore and move up the evolutionary chain? Hmm? 
Besides, I couldn't get through. Yeah, good job as well. There's me, right, trying to retreat into a zen-like state of inner calm, and some old lunatic is flailing at me with his cummerbund. We'd have had a lot of them between us if they hadn't sloped off like a bunch of wimps. Why does he always have to kick off, eh? Every time. Well, I'm very proud that you didn't get involved. Well, I'm telling you, it's not easy when you're condemned by your DNA. Hey, there's no shame in battling for the dingo cards. It's your sworn duty. Why don't we just go for a little walk? Yeah, it might be safer. Just let me have a medicinal brandy first, though. What amazes me, if she is back at it with her again... Back at what, it? Uh, well, whatever. How stupid with that? Right outside Tom King's house in broad daylight. Her charity's a lot, but she's not thick. You know, nobody be that thick. Where is he, any road? It's not like I came to Mr Poncho. Does he know that someone's caught Matt on camera, though? Look, if they still love each other, he's not going to want to be around to watch him marry someone else, is he? Well, if they still love each other, why does she want to marry someone else in the first place? Brass, son. Simple as that. I can think of a lot less noble reasons. <laughs> But buy when you're in Louise. She won't do that. She's done it before. Look, let's not start having a go at each other. It's bad enough as it is. Hey, oh, let me get these. I'm sure you need one. More than one. Oh, you're a good one. Cheers, Rodney. Look, uh, I'm sorry your day out all went pressured. If I knew, I'd tell you, but I don't. So we might as well get on with drinking instead of speculating. Uh. Apologies, don't you think? The only thing I'm sorry for is not breaking your nose. I want to see him. <laughs> Try calling him. Just get out of the way and let her in, you smuggling cow. He's not seeing anybody, especially her after what she's done. Now go away! I've done nothing! It's you behind these photographs, innit, eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You, lady, have set me up. You and that backstabbing scumbag, Kane. Yeah, cos you're both as low as each other. Come on, tell me. What's he getting out of it, eh? Oh, go away, you cheap little tart. Do you think everyone is motivated by money? I'll tell you! No! Yeah. Bitch! And I'll tell you something else. Money won't be enough for Kane. Just you wait. Matthew, you get off! The police! We always knew that you were a two-faced cow, Sadie, but this! I mean, how vile can you get, eh? How sad is that coming from someone like you? And I believe that you still have my diamond bracelet. Yeah. I will have you for this. And if I see you in the street, I'll shove your bracelet straight! You'll do nothing! Now clear off, the both of you. Let's leave it, Jeff. You and me, we're not finished, not by a long shot. Come on. And the locks will be changed by morning, just so as you know. Interesting idea. I beg your pardon? I couldn't help hearing Charity's little conspiracy theory there. And? And? I'll need to have a proper think about it now, won't I? I bet you're just over the moon. You'll be all right now, Phyllis. Uh, your cow's here. I could have been trampled to death back there. You haven't got a small brandy or something like that, have you? She's had four already. <clears throat> Do you want to come for a walk with us, Mrs King? You might feel better with some fresh air. Yeah, come on, go and get changed, then we can go. I could see there was something up with that charity the moment I set eyes on her. Hard as nails, you can always tell. Auntie Phyllis has an instinct for these things, don't you, love? I have an instinct, all right, and I'm never wrong. Well, go and get ready, then. Come on. Uh, just pour me another small brandy in there, would you, love? I'm thinking we did the right thing stopping him by the sounds of it. You what? Sat here with you when I could have been out there watching all that. Did you see her face? God, I could have slapped that smug expression right off it. It's got to be her. I mean, there's no way Tom would pay Kane. He won't even pee on him if you're on fire. And all that flannel about him wanting to talk about Debbie. Uh, well, it must look like you're kissing him back. I'm sorry, I'm only saying... I don't care what it looked like! I've got to find Tom. No, no, you need a drink more than anything else here. You know, 
Whoever was there must have taken 200 shots to get one that looked right. I mean, one that looked wrong. Oh, I don't know. I mean, look at the state of me. I should be married by now, not... Are you just looking at that or are you going to pour it? He'd have to believe you if you could get to him. Why would he, though? I mean, think about it, Chaz. Everybody knows about me and Kane. Tom, the rest of my family, everybody in damn village. Who's going to believe me? Oh, yeah, Kane and Charity, like there's anything new about that. You know, a stitch-up school, this is about as good as it could get. People are going to believe it, whether it's true or not. Hey, I tell you what, why don't we go and get changed and go and find everybody else down the pub, eh? You know, show them that you might get knocked down, but you soon bounce back. Stuff them. I would sooner crawl down a hole and disappear, to be honest. But here you go. I'm not leaving you on your own. <laughs> well, you won't be the first today, would you, eh? You do realise you're missing out on a night of free ale over a set of poxy pictures? You think of nothing else. And be what you call pragmatic. There's a marquee full of gear up there. Yeah. Now, wait till it goes dark. We might as well get some out of this. Right, come on, Sam. You do the food, I'll get the ale. No, I'm, I'm too depressed. You won't be too depressed to sup it, though, will you? All I'm saying is the camera never lies. Uh, uh, no, you see, that's where you're wrong. Otherwise, how would every photo of me look like a big fish bulb from Newcastle? <laughs> Instead of a younger, more tanned Gerard Depardieu. You know, I wish she'd said that. Well, I might have done if I hadn't just spent three weeks because you're stuck on a boat. But that's Nicola's way of saying what a great time we had, isn't it, Pat? Mm. We even managed to get out of the cabin a few times. <laughs> well, somebody's got to salvage something out of the wreckage. Maybe Dad's better off from what I've heard. I still can't figure it out, though. I mean, did he ask you to have somebody keep an eye on her? We hired the detective because he didn't trust her. Obviously, we were right. You don't marry someone you don't trust. And Tom didn't. Or weren't you there? No need for that. Amy's right. It just seems a little weird. Oh, I don't know. How are you doing, Dad? Is that meant to be a serious question? It was always going to happen, I should have known that. I think she could have waited a bit longer, but there we are. I made a mug of myself. Well, I tell you this, it isn't going to happen again. And as far as you're all concerned, it's over. That's the end. And I don't want what happened today or her name to be mentioned again in this house. Is that clear? No. I suggest you all go home. We're not going anywhere with you like this. No chance. Suit yourself. Washing dishes, crazy clothes, you're so ambitious, it really shows. So don't forget, folks, that's what you get for it. For making whoopee. What are you stopping for? Go on. Take it and get out, and if you're still here in 30 seconds, I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Cheers. Well, you're all right then. Oh, yeah, why would I be? So anything else happened? Oh. Yeah. Sadie set me up. Now, if you don't believe me, fine. But I'm not going to waste my breath defending it. So if you're not on my side, you're on hers. And Kane's, cos he's part of it and all. What about these photos, though? There must have been somebody outside Holgate waiting with a camera, right? Maybe even that day you were there last week. I came out, Kane's tired, acting all weird. He grabbed hold of me and that's when he must have taken the photos, right? That is it. Why would you want to do that? Because Debbie is an evil pig and he hates me even more than he hates everybody else. Do you think I'm lying? Shadrach saves the day! Well, what have I said now? I'll go. <laughs> you know I don't deserve this sack. Not if what you said's true. No, you don't. I love him. And you know when he said he loved me, I really believe him. <laughs> I still do. 
<laughs> How sad is that? There's no excuse for what went on in there today. It's out of order. You know, people just think I was after his money. Why would I worry about that when I loved him? Why would I worry about that? Look, oh, you've still got your family. <laughs> not that that's much consolation. I know it's your favourite son's not here to defend himself. I don't have a chance. Not if I get to him first. Charity, no. Well, it's not only me he's stitched up, is it? He stitched Tom up as well. So, he never said anything to you before he stares this little performance in church? No. And you know, thinking about it, of all the things that hurts the most, and I know everyone thinks, you know, Charity, she's dead hard, she can take it, but what hurts the most is, he gave up on me. I mean, why else would he do what he did? I don't deserve it, it's like I don't deserve it. It's all right, I love it, it's all right. Look, just come inside, no, you know, no, you'll freeze no. to death. It's like, no, I just, I need a minute on my own. I'll be all right, honestly, just, I need a minute. Once I can let it go, and not twice. Just making sure you're all right. Must have got the short straw. Oh, I thought it was someone else. Yeah. Wonder what you meant. No, it's not important, not now. Here. Yeah. <sighs> Looks well, don't it? Look better with a few people in it. Ah. Uh... It's all about what might have been now, eh? I've done a terrible thing today, son. I'm not proud. People came to that church in good faith. They got dressed up. Went out of their way, bless them. I slapped them in the face, all of them, everyone, villager, vicar, a lot. Not so special, are we now, eh? The King family. No better than that lot I nearly got married into. It's not your fault, Dad. Oh, it is, lad. It's absolutely 100% my fault. I built this day up and I pulled it down. Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe. Oh, you do, you. You understand what I'm saying, all right? You think I'm a fool, don't you? No. Go on, say it. Yeah, I'm a fool. Go on, say it. You're a fool. Who are you calling a fool? <laughs> <laughs> Never again. That's one vow I will make today. Look. Now, give us a couple of minutes, will you, son? I'm, I won't stop out. What's happening? He's having another drink. And I suggest we do the same. Do I get to say anything? It's all been said. Well, it's all lies, Tom. All of it. Don't insult my intelligence. There's nothing here for you now. Why don't you just go home? I am home. Not anymore. I don't even know if I am. Look at it. All this for some sick joke that nobody's ever going to laugh at. Just get out. Tom. Once a whore, always a whore, eh? Listen to me. I have never lied to you. 
I change for you, Tom. Look at me. I need you. Tom, please. I need you. I don't want to know. Listen to me, Sadie. Sadie has done this. Those photographs, they're fake, Tom. They're fake. I said no. 